Welcome to the Windows channel and uh, as we add on to 2018, we will have a look at what's to come with the uh, Insider, well, you know, basically with the regular version of Windows that everybody has as we were talking yesterday. Still some people are being upgraded to the Fall Creators Update. And of course we told you that there were two updates to come next year, so there's a few things in here to take note of. Uh, one of them is, you know, what will change? What are the new things that's going to happen? Uh, one of them is timeline. This is the feature of timeline. Now here you see only one thing, but timeline will show different tiles of everything you did in the past uh, day, in the past week, and so on. So this is just one tile here or year today, but there's technically on the right side a um, time line, basically that you can go through. And so if you worked on a Word document three days ago, you want to go back, you can actually go to the timeline feature, go back three days ago and click on the Word document you were talking about or working on. So it's um, kind of an interesting issue. Uh, and uh, I think it's something, I, I believe it's something that I'm going to use a lot. Unfortunately here, I can't show much because I've been resetting it regularly. It's still buggy in this state of uh, where we are in our builds, but you know, it's part of what we uh, are actually what's happening in the, the latest build. What else do we have? Uh, we'll have, of course, a better and an increase in, uh, you know, fluent design and the settings. So, for example, if we go to settings here and uh, we'll go into the settings, look at this. Um, re, basically, there's kind of a going around with settings, moving them around, seeing what's the best option. Fluent design coming with very, very nice panels, you know, more beautiful panels on the left side with fluent design and trying to, to find a way of doing things. Cortana also having a lot of improvements in the uh, upcoming builds. So uh, you'll see a lot of changes coming up with the Cortana, uh, Cortana collections and everything. So whatever happens, uh, it's kind of cool. Of course, updated apps are things that are coming. One feature called sets that I don't have here, but that, um, you know, it's being tested on some insiders right now, but I, it's not expected to really be something that people will have in the next version. But there's, you know, playing around with a lot of that. Of course, emojis and uh, if you have a touch device and you use the on-screen uh, hinking and all of that, many, many updates on that level also coming up. Of course, Microsoft Edge browser being updated, being made a little more interesting. Uh, of course, also updated with Fluent Design and everything, but it's being tweaked and um, being improved. It will have new codecs, OGG, uh, Vorbis, and so on, uh, that weren't there before for some of the online content. Lots of little things, improvements in the menus and the way that everything is interacting and working in the menus, uh, reading pages and so on. So uh, basically, it's interesting to see that we're moving ahead in this um, in this Windows 10 adventure, of course. So this is, of course, some of the preview of things that will be happening in 2018. This is the first level, which is what's called Redstone 4 right now. What will be the name of the next um, available version that is, um, we, nobody knows yet. Um, some people were saying productivity because of um, you know, they're kind of focusing on productivity and this one, I, I, that would be a nice name, especially since, uh, with the timeline feature going, you know, doing things to give you guys an idea. I'm just gonna, let's say I open up an old word document of news from, uh, this is from November 1st. So let's say I make some changes to it and then save it again. It's going to be interesting. And you're going to, you guys are going to see what timeline actually does when I do this. So, um, open up, of course, a word document. From here, um, we work on the document, we do something, we save it with a new name or anything. So let me just uh, add a few characters. Here we go. And uh, okay, this is going to be, I'm going to save it now. And then you close it. Well, as you work and as you continue, your timeline feature will add these new features. So you see here, the Word document is now part of my timeline of things I did earlier today. If I click on, click on this dial, it brings me back to my Word document. If I click on this dial, it brings me back to, you know, Google page on, on Edge, which I, where I was. One of the main 
drawbacks of Timeline that I have to say is um, the fact that it works only with apps that have been designed for Timeline. So this could be an issue. Um, this could be an issue because um, a lot of apps like Google Chrome, for example, anybody that uses Chrome, it doesn't record in Timeline. Will there be Timeline possibilities that's basically up to Google to modify a little bit Chrome for it to use? But anyways, uh, right now it works with the Universal Windows Platform apps with Edge and with...